pili. Uwekezaji wa fedha hizo shilingi bilioni kumi kwenye uchumi wa madini katika kaunti tano za pwani ni hatua ya kuimarisha uchumi huo. Kwa mujibu wa waziri wa madini Salim Mvuria, hii itasaidia wavuvi na wafanyibiashara wengi kwenye kaunti hizo. Aitha wahusika wataweza kupata mikopo ili kuwasaidia kuwekeza zaidi. So today here in Kilifi County we'll be giving a check to uh, to a number of groups 98 million we'll give it here I've given one in Kipini uh, 33 million for Tana River and of course his excellence the president was here uh, to a number of groups 98 million we'll give it here I've given one in uh, Kipini 33 million for Tana River and of course his excellence the president was here uh, last two weeks he launched this project by giving 320 million to the five counties of the coast region. So this is a project that I want to urge the fishermen and all those who will get the funding that they are able to utilize these funds for the purpose that has been earmarked. na huduma za walinzi wa Kenya Coast na mamlaka ya Maritime Kenya. Kulingana na nyale, kuna zaidi ya wavuvi 1035 wanaofanya kazi kilifi, lakini 1020 tu ndio ambao wamesajiliwa rasmi na vitengo hivyo. Wale ambao wajasajiliwa hasa ni wavuvi wa msimu ambao huenda baharini kuvua samaki kwa ajili ya familia zao kuliko kuuza. Hivyo wavuvi hao wanaiomba serikali kuandaa sera ambazo zitawahifadhi wavuvi wadogo wadogo wasio na hati. Hatimaye, malipo ya fidia ya bima ya mazao iliyofanywa na kikundi cha kilimo cha Apollo kwa ushirikiano na bima ya APA na washauri wa Pula wamewafidia angalau wakulima elfu mbili wa kaunti ya Nakuru walioathiriwa na ukame mwaka uliopita. Msimamizi wa mpango huo James Karimi ameeleza lengo la mpango huo ni kupunguza umaskini vijijini na upungufu wa chakula miongoni mwa wakulima wadogo wadogo. Kupatia mkulima uh, package ambayo iko na mafunzo, iko na mbolea, iko na mbegu na iko na kila kitu ambacho wanahitaji ili kuweza kwa kuinua ukulima wao pale hapo nyumbani. Takriban 75% ya watu nchini Kenya wanategemea kilimo kwa ajili ya riziki zao kulingana na Lea Mungai wa bima ya APA. APA Insurance has been able to provide crop insurance cover for the farmers that is able to compensate them in case of any shortfall in terms of yield to their harvest whether due to excessive rainfall or shortfall or less rainfall that means drought and that way we've been able to protect even the farmers livelihood because they really depend on these crops to carry out most of their carry out their basic needs and everything that they need to run their lives. Phoebe Wangombe, Look Up TV. Jay,